The view from the WBTM 13 studios. We're up on a mountain, but it's a little bit damp out there. We're seeing some moisture kind of moving around around the camera lenses. And as far as any showers, mostly seeing some spotty showers closer to Marengo County, Green, and uh, into Hale counties right now, southwestern Tuscaloosa County. A few spotty showers for you. Our WBTM 13 live Doppler is positioned there in advance. That's the view from our live Doppler radar. Your planner from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. shows temperature temperatures in the 50s to start upper 60s in the afternoon. So it's going to feel pretty humid and uh, certainly one of those days where you want to pack the umbrella or maybe the poncho if you're heading out for a little shopping around the shops of Grand River. And so our live Doppler radar, this is our key tool, especially when we're talking about tracking severe storms moving into areas like Tuscaloosa at 62. We have calm wind and a whole lot of humidity as well. Those temperatures are very mild as far west as areas of San Antonio, Texas, but just within the same state, of course, Amarillo Lubbock, 20 degrees colder. We move another state and another 20 degrees. So our temperatures are going to drop behind this next weather feature. So when we have temperatures close to 70 and then we're talking about dropping them back down to the 30s and 40s, there will be that rising and sinking air creating that marginal risk for strong storms. The time frame is between about 2 p.m. and 10 p.m. Now I'm going to check the latest forecast model runs, make some tweaks on this uh, throughout this morning and into some of our later shows to try to narrow down as the forecast models come together that time frame because it looks like it is slowing down a bit and potentially more like a 4 p.m. situation. Damaging winds up to 60 miles per hour. Isolated tornado is possible within these lines of thunderstorms that develop. But as far as it goes, the future cast, they look like this. The isolated thunderstorms that we see, they're going to really start to show their face by tomorrow morning. But for today, that's 4 p.m. Not too bad this afternoon. Spotty showers. So Mary was saying is it going to rain all day? Well, it'll be kind of damp and, and cloudy, but it's not going to be a complete washout. Uh, so you can get outside today. But leading up to Sunday, notice four o'clock in the morning on Sunday, a couple outflow boundaries start to develop. And then the main line of showers and thunderstorms by 10 a.m. certainly very visible across the Mississippi Delta. So that's why Sunday has been made an impact day. As far as the threats go, the threat for tornadoes, large hail and flash flooding are all low at this juncture, but again, that forecast may change kickstarting 2020.